All right, friends, we are currently live. This is Lance Leo coming live to you from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Super excited, <laughs> excuse me, super excited to have you guys with me. Uh, one thing I've learned in now this being our third live stream, I'm going to allow some folks to kind of enter into the studio, into their space, uh, not rush in too quickly. Uh, before I go any further, I want to make sure I stress once again, this is Coach Lance coming live from Minneapolis. Uh, if you have the possible or the chance to do so, let me know in the comment section where you're watching from. Uh, those who are watching outside of the live stream, I'd love to know where you're actually coming from. Uh, before I go much further with this, I want to make sure I give you guys a quick overview of what the workout is. Again, it might be a little bit repetitive only because I don't know when people are jumping into the actual workout. So first and foremost, let's look at the live details. This will obviously include a warm up where we'll do the jump rope of 30. We'll go burpees for 30 seconds. We will also do scissor jumps for 30 seconds times two. The main set will be executing 12 minutes of the swing, 12 minutes of the clean, and then 12 minutes of snatch. And as you can see on the screen, we will vary that rep range using a fixed load for what it's worth. I will be using a 53 pounder or 24 kilogram bell for the duration. <clears throat> so as you can see on the screen, we'll go zero to four minutes, alternating left hand, right hand for the actual swing. If you are relatively new to, to the swing or the clean or the snatch, I will provide for you guys some variations or scaling options. All right. Uh, so you'll notice again real quick from zero to four minutes, we'll be doing a six swing alternating left hand, right hand. We'll then go into a four to eight minute block where we'll actually increase that rep range, still staying at the same load of doing eight reps. Then from eight to 12 minutes, 10 reps, again, with the swing alternating left hand, right hand. Wash, rinse, and repeat. We'll be doing the same kind of rep scheme uh, at the clean as well as with the snatch. All right. So that is, in essence, what that workout looks like. So for essentially 36 minutes plus the three minutes, it's about 40 minutes of work. You should be pretty challenged with this one. Challenge factor. I think it's important to note this. If those of you who are feeling up for it, the challenge factor for today is to not only do those movements I just noted, but also then to do a suitcase carry for 30 feet or nine meters. So you might want to just space that out or walk that out, whatever 30 feet or nine meters looks like. I'd suggest you kind of set that up prior to us starting. All right. So that will be that will be the challenge factor for today. What else to share? Scaling options. Again, some of you are starting to just come in. So I might be a little bit repetitive, but also throughout the workout itself, I will provide some other uh, nuts and bolts. Scaling options. Again, I don't know where you're coming from from the standpoint of a fitness perspective, but just know you can stick to one rep scheme throughout. Maybe it's just four reps versus going up to all the way up to 10. All right. Option two for a scaling option is just simply sit out for a minute, sit out for two minutes, sit out for three minutes. Bottom line is I want you to win and I want you to define what winning is for you, but I definitely want you to kind of keep on moving as best you can. And then number three, uh, I would say remove that suitcase carry option altogether if the body's just not there, all right? But if you are ready for the challenge, I would suggest you include that suitcase carry. All right, so again, those of you who might be just jumping in now at this point, here are those workout details. We will take off in five, at five minutes. Right now, we're almost four minutes in. Hopefully by now you've gotten the bell that you are gonna utilize. And again, mark off what 30 feet or nine meters looks like for you so that you can do that suitcase carry. All right, if anyone has any questions, feel free to post those now. We will take off in approximately 40 seconds, starting off with 30 seconds of the jump rope. <clears throat> By the way, if you don't have a jump rope yet, I would certainly recommend the RX gear jump rope smart gear. It's a fantastic rope and they are not paying me. They are not paying me to say that. All right. So guys, we're going to be taking off here shortly, taking off shortly. 15 seconds, 30 seconds of jump rope, 30 seconds of burpees, 30 seconds of scissor jump.
All right, guys, 30 seconds of burpees. We're not trying to light, the, light this place on fire, just nice and steady. And then we're gonna go right into scissor jumps. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of scissor jumps. Scaling option is simply a reverse lunge versus the scissor jump. Again, 30 seconds of rope. <laughs> 30 seconds of burpees. All right, friends, in three seconds, his jumps, 30 seconds. Good work. That's three minutes of warm up. Reset the clock. Again, I'm using a 53, 24 kilogram bell. If you pick wisely, 288 reps of work. 288 reps of work. Okay, so we're going to work with, in this case, a 53 pound bell, 24 kilograms, grand total of 288. Good to see you, Mark. 288 reps. Let's get on it. Mark, let me know what bell size you're going to use. Spamp, what are you going to use? Tell me what bell size. All right, guys, six swings. Here we go. Six swings, alternating hands or two hand. Your call. Here we go. One. Six reps, suitcase carry. Great job. First set done. First set done. Hopefully it's not getting glitchy on us. Again, as I noted, you can do a two-handed swing or you can do an alternating swing, depending on your skill level and experience. Taking off in 10 seconds. If you are doing the suitcase, carry alternate left hand, right hand. Here we go. Overall, this workout should increase in challenge. I apologize for the glitchy, but uh, some, for some reason I have some technological glitches. All right, guys, here we go. We're taking off in 20 seconds.
Ten seconds. All right, friends, we're now three minutes into it, almost three minutes into it. Again, still sticking to that rep range of six reps alternating hands or a simple two-handed swing. Taking off in 20. All right, folks, here we go, five seconds. Six reps. All right, we're now increasing. We're now gonna increase that rep range now to eight reps. Again, that can be a two-handed swing or it can be an alternating swing. Taking off in 20. Okay, five seconds, eight total reps. Here we go. Great job, Mark. 30. Love it. Nice job. That's big. Super. All right, 15 seconds. Again, eight reps, two-handed, or simply alternate hands. Deep breath. Here we go. Focus. Okay, guys, halfway through the swings, halfway through the swings. Okay, 10 seconds. My friends, good work. Okay, guys, last time through utilizing the eight rep scheme. Taking off in 15 seconds.
All right, well done. Well done. Mark that one off. All right, friends, we're now moving into that 10 rep scheme. Again, 10 two handed or alternating hands for 10 reps. Take it off in 20. All right, here we go. 10 total reps, taking off in five. Good work. Good work. Again, this is a strength endurance 1.0. Strength endurance 1.0. Plenty of ways we can challenge, increase this challenge in this one. Okay, last three minutes. Last three minutes. Then we move to the clean. Okay, three, two, let's go. Again, those of you might be coming in late to the party. We're doing swings, then a 30 foot or nine meter walkout. Suitcase carry, suitcase carry, last two minutes. Again, alternating hands is an option and two hand is also an option. 10 seconds, last two minutes. All right, last minute. Last minute with the swing, then we go to the clean. Keith, if you have a second, let me know how things are going in there. Let me know how this workout's feeling. Okay, guys, last 10 seconds of rest. Last set of the swing. Three, two, one. Great work. Third of the way through. Third of the way through. All right, next, clean, taking off in 20 seconds. We're going to hit, hit uh, three per side. I'm going to hit three on the left, three on the right, three on the left, three on the right for this clean. And then again, a suitcase carry going with the right, then the left, or left and right. Okay, five seconds. Three cleans on the right. Three cleans on the left. Let's roll.
All right, good work, friends. 30 seconds. And as noted in the scaling option, by all means, if you don't want to do that suitcase carry, that's perfectly fine. Here we go, three and three. Good work. Good work. Okay, 10 seconds for takeoff. Third set of the four minutes. For what it's worth, I'm going to scale up. I will be scaling up. Again, I'm sorry for the glitch. I don't know why there's glitching going on. 20 seconds. After this minute, I will be scaling up the bell size to the 62. Taking off in 13. Directly connected to the router. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, guys, here we go. Three and three. All right, well done. All right, friends, if you're feeling strong, if you're feeling able, I'm doing a little bit of a pivot. I am going to increase bell size. I'm going up to the 62. Going up to the 62, 28 kilogram. Taking off in 13. Scale up if you feel up for it. Scale up if you feel up for it. Here we go. Five seconds, again, 62 versus 53. We're now going four reps left and right. Here we go. Did anybody else scale up? I'm just curious, did anyone else scale up? 20 seconds. Okay, five, four, three,
All right, great job. Great job. Smart move, smart move, Mark. Steve, what you got? All right, 15 seconds. Four and four. Here we go, four and four cleans. Here we go. All right, great effort. Last minute, last minute, using the four and four rep scheme. Next up will be a five and a five. All right, five seconds for takeoff. Let's go get some. Three, two, let's go. I'm going to do it one more time in 30 seconds. I am going to actually increase that load to 70. Thirty-two kilograms, 70 pound bell. Taking off in 10. Here we go. Five reps. As Mark did, and that, as Mark, as you said, stay with the same weight. If that's all you got, my friend. It's perfect. 10 seconds, hanging with that five and five rep scheme. Three, two, let's go get it, come on. I don't know about you guys, but I almost wish we had a little more long, a little bit longer of a walk there. Suitcase carry. All right, here we go. Last two, last two minutes at the five and five rep scheme. Slippery hands now. Slippery hands. I 
know you're starting to work and you can see your wet footprints. By the way, are we going barefoot or not, folks? Try to go barefoot. All right, last time through. Last time through here, using the five and five. Go get some. Job well done. Moving into the snatch, I'm going to scale back down to 53. 53 pounds, taking off in 13. We're going to go back now, friends, to the three and three snatch. Three and three. Here we go. If you're new to the snatch, I would suggest you do a clean and a press. A clean and a press. Good to see you, Luker. All right, guys. Sweat management is now going to be kind of the thing here. I don't have a fan on because I think it would mess up with the audio. All right, five seconds. Three and three. Stay strong. Again, we're going to accumulate 288 reps, 288 reps, if you stick to protocol. Absolutely no shame in sitting out a minute, all right? It's a good day when you can ring things out, right? It's a good day. All right, 20 seconds. Last time at the three and the three. Here we go, guys. Come on.
All right, now friends, we're going four and four, four and four, four on the right, four on the left, from two minutes 28 to 32. Proud of your efforts, guys. Proud of your efforts. I hope you're feeling challenged. You're feeling challenged. One sixty seven. Pumping a little bit. Pumping a little bit. Here we go. Almost lost that first one. Almost lost it. All right, friends, almost 30, 30 minutes into this one. Almost 30 minutes into this one. Four and four, five seconds to take off. Keep an eye on your grip, friends. I'm definitely losing mine. Here we go. I think my mind got gray on that one, I'm sorry. We're still trying to hold a four and four. Four and four, four left, four right. Three, two, one. Okay, Tusker Army, stay with me. Last four minutes, last four minutes. Good job, Mark, way to feel it, brother, way to feel it. All right, guys, five and five. Deep breath in, five reps right, five left, here we go.
174, 173. Fire is working, baby. I knew these seconds would fly at this point. Here we go. Twenty seconds to go. One seventy six. Keep that bell handle dry. Don't want to lose it. Here we go. Last two minutes. Have fun. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <sighs> Last minute. <clears throat> Three, two, here we go. One seventy six peak. All right, friends. Outstanding effort. Absolutely outstanding effort. That's two hundred and eighty eight reps. In a period of essentially 36 minutes. Proud of each of you. Hope you guys got something out of it. I am going to take just a few minutes, just a few minutes to cool down with you. I am also going to allow you allow some time to uh, um, also ask me questions if you have any. Okay. If you got questions? I'd love to answer them. All right. First things first. Let's just simply do a butterfly squat, looking for that pursuit of primal squat depth. And then we're just gonna simply lift, shift left to right a little bit. We're just gonna do about a two minute cool down, bring that heart rate down. Again, if you have questions, by all means, by all means, I'd love to answer those for you. Let's go right into a cobra. Drop the hips to the floor. And simply shift left to right. Opening up those hips. Hope you all got a little bit of a sweat out of that one. Again, this is only a 1.0. There is plenty of room for challenge and progress. Okay. Let's go now into a child's pose. All right, friends, now we're going to bring that left leg forward. We're going to open up that right hip. You're just going to come and do it. Again, move a little bit. Movement is good. 
move to the right and to the left. Feel out that right hip. And then let's sit up. Feel that hip flexor. If you can, contract that right glute. Okay, let's switch legs. Right legs forward. Feel free to go forward and back to get that hamstring. And actually add a little bit of rotation to that. Sit up, contract that left glute, open up that left hip. Now we'll come to standing, we'll go left to right. Just go left to right. Focusing on those adductors, hamstrings. Just go left to right for about four of these. Make sure you guys are hydrated and well fueled. All right, great job. All right, I'm gonna open up the mic here. If anybody has questions, uh, fire away. I'm super grateful for each of you who ended up taking the time to be here today. I really appreciate that. Again, this is Lance, Coach Lance out of Minneapolis. If you find value in what I'm doing, by all means, uh, if you're seeing this post live, I'd really appreciate it if you would do that like button thing, share perhaps, maybe add a comment. It'd mean a lot to me. Uh, I have no other intention but to keep growing this channel and helping you guys and girls, all right? For what it's worth, real quick, next week uh, I'll be offline. I will not be doing a live next week, but that following week, I certainly will be. All right, so if there are no questions, I will simply jump off here. I'll give you guys another 30 seconds. But again, I really appreciate each of you. Heat, I see you down there, brother. I see you, Heat. Um, proud of your efforts. Really hope you got something out of it. If you do have a question, throw it by me. Uh, I will keep this thing open for another 10 seconds. But again, next week, I will not be here. Uh, I'll be offline, and you guys, there's plenty of stuff on this channel that you guys can pick and choose from, uh, and stay strong and stay fit. All right, guys, love you. Great job. Super proud of the effort. Stamp, I see you. Uh, I don't know how you're down there, but I see you, brother. Love you guys. Stay strong. Stay Tusker strong.